Hey, it's Marty from MartyEngland.com and in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing a AI copywriting software called Write Cream. If you would like the lifetime deal of this software or just a discounted version of this, go ahead and click the link below. It really helps support the channel and also lets me keep doing what I'm doing for you guys to help you make a decision before you purchase anything. We're not gonna go through every single aspect of this software because there's quite a lot to it, but overall, I'm gonna show you some of the USPs of this software and hopefully that should be enough just to help you out. You have all of your templates which quite frankly there's some really unique stuff that I've not seen across the gazillion other uh, AI copywriting reviews. <laughs> so this is the default area and we're gonna head over to email personalization and what's different here is that you can actually create personalized emails just by putting in a URL. So if I play, paste in my martyangland.com website just generated a whole bunch of stuff and you train the software by saying if this result is good or bad. So let's just have a quick read of the first one. I love how Marty Englander teaches people how to use software in a way that's easy to understand. It's great that, he teach it, that he's teaching people how to use software that might not know about, that they might not know about, like close. So that's actually really cool. I like how Marty Englander makes software tools easy to understand and easy to implement. He's a great resource for anyone who wants to learn how to use software but doesn't want to be overwhelmed by learning jargon. And that's exactly what my USP is, or at least I try to make it about, which is understanding complex softwares in a jargon free way. Let's go back to the copy and have a look at the image icebreaker template. Now this is cool as well. I'm going to type in URL and do generate. And now it's created some really fancy graphics. I actually have not seen any other platform do. So not only is it creating some really cool graphics for you, but it's actually those graphics are based on the context of your website. That just means you can get instantly relatable content that matches your text. Let's have a look at some of the more common things that you see across AI writing softwares like blog ideas. Enter your URL and then put in a little bit of description. So helping people um, understand complex softwares in a jargon free way and then do generate. Okay, so here is some examples. 10 tips to better understand and use softwares, a blog post about how to use products like Microsoft Office and Adobe products in more efficient and effective ways. And that's actually a good template because even though I didn't specifically mention Microsoft Office and Adobe products, it's kind of like an example of overall softwares and stuff like that. So I can easily replace them. So that's a nice template. These are on point. These are, so, these are the sort of things that I would generally use in my own ventures and own ideas. Let's head over to the long form editor. On the left, you would find all of your customization options. So here we would say what sort of template we would like the software to write for us. So I'm gonna go with a blog outline and then the product name, let's go with dog training. And then the blog topic is helping uh, dog owners to teach uh, their dog to sit, okay? And then the tone, we can change the tone to, let's go ahead and do, uh, let's just go with casual and do right for me. It's added all of these blog outlines. So let's just have a look at the first output. What are the different methods of teaching the dog to sit? How to teach your dog to sit? Why is it important for your dog to be able to sit? Is it possible to teach your dog to stay? What are some training tips to help your dog? A blog about how to teach your dog to sit. Okay, I really like uh, the third output. Okay, next I'm gonna quickly change this to the past template or pain, agitate and solution. And again, dog training and then uh, yeah I'm just gonna leave that the same and do what right for me. Outcome is you know the pain is it's tough to teach your dog to sit sometimes it's easier to just give up and start over but your personal dog training is the best way to teach your dog to sit. Dog training is a simple and easy way to teach your dog to sit it's a one-time fee so we don't really want that because this is going to be more of a blog. I like this one so I'm going to take this and we're going to put this at the you're going to want to show people how to teach their dog to sit. So I'm going to grab this heading here and where it says Quora answer assist, going to paste that in and then to do the exact same here and do okay that's quite good. Now we are going to is I'm going to take this and do that, clean it up again. Okay, and now just to speed up the process, I'm literally just gonna use the Quora answer assist for each of these titles here. 
Okay, so finally, I'm now going to take this conclusion here, go over to the templates, and I'm going to type in conclusion, do that, paste that in, paste this in, and then do right for me. There we have it, we have 763 words that took less than, I'll say, just looking at less than 10 minutes. Um, it's actually pretty decent quality as well and the overall results there wasn't a lot of going backwards and forwards with the editor it just gave good results from the get-go which is always a big thing but finally let's go ahead let's grab all of this content I have the premium version of Grammarly so I'm going to paste Grammarly in let's go ahead and have a look at the plagiarism okay so 7% of this is plagiarized which in the grand scheme of things isn't actually that bad uh, let's just have a look how to teach my dog to sit okay so it's literally it's copied that uh, the title which really isn't a big thing at all this one again it's that one phrase here so that's what it's copied here yeah it's talking about this here which is generic so there's no bad nothing wrong there this one again the most important thing is to give, like, you know, you, you can't really count these as plagiarized because the common terminology. And again, it's the same one here, how to train your dog to sit, you know, yeah. Okay, so it's not plagiarized, um, although it's got 7%, it's it's not, they're not real plagiarized problems. They also do a cool recent activity area where you can see all the recent activity that you've just done. And as you can see, to create uh, this blog, we started off here, to all the way there so under 800 words we only did this now another thing that you might like before we end this video is the audio icebreaker in this section again just go ahead and type in your url then do select your language so let's go ahead and do english british let's go ahead and do brian mail we've got these optimization uh, features like speed so how fast they talk if you want to enhance the audible with variations and emphasis on certain parts you can do and then the breathing sound makes it a bit more natural human like like for example so let's go ahead and generate so let's go ahead and play this i just wanted to reach out to you and say that i find your videos really helpful they're not filled with jargon and they're easy to understand I'm glad that you're sharing your knowledge with us. Okay, so that actually generated it automatically. Overall, Write Cream has some really cool features that actually just work. I didn't find any real glitches in the software. It was all super smooth to use. I would definitely use this for my own ventures. And I absolutely love the image creation just by putting in a URL. It's a really nice touch for the whole AI copywriting industry and the whole software that's being generated across the board. Uh, I've not seen any other AI copywriting assistants do this sort of thing. It's definitely a nice piece of kit that I have no problem recommending to people. If if you have any questions whatsoever about Write Cream or other AI copywriting softwares, go ahead and drop them below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.